five exercises, nothing but some inexpensive resistance bands. Hey guys, Mark McKilly with Live and Bach, and today I've got a resistance band only workout, and it's five different exercises, and I've picked them basically to target pretty much every muscle group in your body. The nice thing about bands, guys, is they are dirt cheap. I mean, a set of bands off of Amazon will run you about 20 bucks. The other nice thing about bands is they're really small, compact, lightweight, which means you can stick them in your suitcase. So if you're traveling, going on vacation, you can actually take bands with you. Just cram them in there. They take up a, almost no space, all right? And you can do this in your hotel while you're on vacation. Or if you're a road warrior for work, you can do them on those, on those really boring road trips. All right, so five exercises. And the other thing is, guys, I'm gonna shoot for three sets of each exercise. So I don't want you having to move the anchor point all around. So three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And if you keep your rest to a minimum in between sets, when I say minimum, about 30 seconds, it'll keep your heart rate up. And it will not only build muscle, but it'll give you kind of like a, a pretty decent cardio workout as well. So first exercise, we're gonna be targeting our chest. Notice I'm going to be using the high anchor point for the first three exercises today, guys. I like to do it with the with the straps and the and the um, the handles and the bands above my shoulders like this. All right, and you got to use you got to get a lot of pre tension here. If you're standing too close to the door, at the beginning part of your movement, there'll just be almost no resistance. All right, so really kind of step away from your anchor. All right, and if you push downward just a little bit, all right? And when you go back like this, see how this scrapes against your upper arm? That's no good. It doesn't feel good. So instead of pushing down, I want you to, as you're leaning forward, I want you to push a little more out front of you, all right? And when you're doing this a little higher, not so low, up here, see, see where the bands are? And when I bring my hand back, those black, you know, terminals at the end there. Don't scrape against my upper arm. It doesn't basically tear your skin. And basically what we're doing is, is like a standing bench press, all right? But these bands make it really hard to stabilize. You gotta really kind of think about what you're doing and get that mind-muscle connection, all right? So don't let those bands just you know, yank your hands back, control that resistance, both directions, both concentric movement and then the eccentric part. So knock out about 10 to 12 good form reps. <sighs> Give yourself 30 seconds to a minute. Remember, if you keep your rest shorter, it'll turn more into a cardio workout. Now you'll still be building muscle, but the longer you rest, all right, the more muscle building it becomes and the less cardio the workout turns out to be. All right, so the next exercise is a tricep push down. Basically, we're just really gonna be focusing on the back part of our arm here, and this is a, an isolation movement. And as we change from exercise to exercise, remember to adjust your band resistance here. You're gonna need to change it depending on what muscle you group you're working, because some of these exercises, you're just going to be very strong and powerful, partly because of the size of the muscles you're using and partly just due to the mechanics and the physics, all right? So I took one band off, okay, and down on my knees, and I'm just going to try to keep my elbows kind of tucked in and still here, and my palms are facing down, and I'm just going to basically just straighten my arms and really control it up and down. And at the bottom of the movement, really try to lock those elbows out and flex your triceps. We're shooting for, you know, 10 to 12 reps here, guys. So if you get to that 12th rep and your triceps aren't really burning and you're not struggling to knock out those last two or three reps, then you didn't use enough resistance, okay? So on your next set, you need to add a band 
And remember, these bands are different resistances. So every color is different. And they will typically have a weight resistance, you know, on, on the terminal ends here. So you can kind of figure out what combinations of resistance bands you need for every exercise because they're all going to be different. All right, after doing three sets of that previous exercise, we're going on to exercise number three. We're going to be focusing on our rear delts, our rear shoulders. It's called a rear delt fly. Now, the nice thing about this is, yes, you can't use much weight, all right? Not, you're not going to be able to use two or three bands, all right? So just pick one band because the form is really important. And the other thing is, we're, all, we're also going to be working more than just the rear part of our shoulder. We're going to be getting some of the lats and rhomboids and, and traps involved in this movement too. But you're gonna have to really move far away on this one because we're not using a lot of weight. And I want, I want you to have some resistance already built into that band because you're gonna be starting right here, all right? And I'm just gonna bring my hands back as far as I can, all right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, one thing I want to show you guys. I'm going to add too much resistance, okay? And I'm going to show you the problem with having too much resistance. So, if I move back to the same distance, all right, you know, a long way away from that anchor point, so I can get it from here to about right there, and then I can't go any further. That's as far back as I can go. So, if you want to get full range of motion, then you have to step closer to the anchor, right? All right, well, now there's almost no tension at all. So the first part of this movement here, the initial part, no resistance, nothing. Then, it, then I start getting it here and then here, and then I can barely get to here. But so half of the movement, there's basically no resistance. So I think it's better to air on a lighter band, okay? Probably just one band and then move further away, which means you already have some resistance built up at the first part of your movement. And then of course it's gonna get harder and harder, but range of motion is really important guys. So try on every exercise, it doesn't have to be bands, it could be dumbbells, anything, body weight even. The bigger your range of motion, the more muscle growth you're gonna get. Okay, so exercise number four is gonna be a bicep curl. Now, you might notice I've taken the bands off the anchor that was at the top of the door. We're gonna be using our feet for the anchor point on these last two exercises. So you gotta find the midpoint here. That's the important thing, all right? So that feels really good. I feel like I'm really centered here, okay? And then stand up straight. <clears throat> and I'm just going to, I want to. I want you to keep your palms kind of facing forward and your elbows towards your side here and try to keep your elbows still, okay? And you just straight up and down, guys. Great exercise for those biceps. Three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up and all the way down. Eight, nine, and ten. Once again, pick, pick a combination of bands that's going to make it tough to get to that 10th or 12th rep. Now, let's say you didn't pick heavy enough bands for the first set and you get to 12 and you're thinking, oh God, that was way too easy. Just keep going, push yourself a little hard, do 15 or 20 reps, all right? Then while you're resting before the second and third set, add a band, change the resistance weight, just go up so that on your second set, you really get close to fatigue or failure near the 12th rep. All right, so the fifth and final exercise, guys, is squats. I mean, we've done several different exercises for our upper body. Now it's time to get from the waist down, all right? So this is a, this exercise with bands doing squats 
is it's going to feel a little different and it's going to be it's going to be hard to figure out what combination of bands to use basically because it's you, you'll experiment and you'll you'll find out you know three bands is going to be so much that you can't even get the bands up into the starting position so this exercise guys you're probably going to have to do more than the 10 to 12 reps that i'm asking you to do on everything else simply because you won't be able to use enough resistance band for your legs to wear out because you can't get a, you know a heavy enough resistance band into the starting position to begin with so that's that's the only drawback to doing bands with squats all right so here we go you're basically the same thing we're going to use our feet as our anchor and you got to have a wider stance here and once again all right you need to have it equal length under both feet all right, and I like to do it, there's a couple ways to do it, but I like to do it this way. You just bring them up and put them over the back of your arms like this. Basically, I feel almost like I'm holding a, a barbell right here, you know, that would go all the way across from side to side. And then boom, we just use the same form that I always use for squats, except instead of my elbows being in close, they're gonna be out like this. So, almost like a barbell a front barbell squat where the barbell's in front of your neck instead of behind your neck three four five six seven eight nine Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Whew. All right. So I did more than the ten to twelve. I stopped at fifteen. I could have kept going. You guys are gonna have to kind of figure it out. Everybody's at a different fitness level. And everybody's got a different range of motion, especially us older guys, when it comes to your knees and your back and your ankles. Some of you guys might not be able to go all the way down. That's okay. Listen to your body and go as deep as you can because the deeper you go, the better it is. All right, so five exercises, nothing but some inexpensive resistance bands. Pretty much a full body workout. We hit all the major muscle groups. And it really didn't take that long. So if you guys want to do this workout so that it creates more of a cardio effect, keep your rest in between sets to about 30 seconds. It'll get your heart rate up. You'll burn more calories that way. If you want it to be slightly more muscle growth focused, rest longer between sets a minute, maybe even 90 seconds if you're really pushing it hard and you'll build more muscle, but your heart rate won't get nearly as high and you won't burn quite as many calories, okay? So five great exercises you can do anywhere from your home or from your hotel room if you're traveling, it doesn't matter. The only thing that really matters is sticking with it and never giving up on yourself.